Hi, I'm Dave Borisoff, President and Founder of HipShot Products. Today I'd like to install a HipShot Detuner. The instrument I'll be installing on is the GNL 2000 base. <clears throat> we manufacture a wide variety of hip shot detuners or base extender keys to match and retrofit easily on most of your bases. You can find a selection on the base extender key page of our website. Installation is usually very simple and all you'll need is a small Phillips screwdriver and of course the hip shot detuner kit, which includes the hip shot detuner, small wood screws, and the instructions. An electric tuner is also very handy to have. First thing we're going to do is change the tuner. So we'll take off the string. Using our small Phillips screwdriver, we'll remove the, the Phillips screws that hold our tuner on. This base has been equipped with our HP1 tuners. Some of the features I've designed into it is a 27 to 1 gear ratio, hardened steel washer to eliminate wear, alum aluminum string post to lighten them up, a little tension adjust screw so you can adjust the tension on your key exactly the way you like it. Now we're going to disassemble the hip shot detuner. Remove the large Phillips screw that holds the gear to the string post. Remove the gear. Pull the swivel plate off. Between the swivel and the base plate you'll find a large nylon washer. Make sure you don't lose it. Now I'm going to fasten the hip shot detuner to the headstock. First thing I like to do is insert the string post through the headstock. This helps line up the base plate. Using my small screwdriver, I'm going to attach the four small screws. All the while, make sure that the string post pivots easily and that the base plate doesn't bind the string post in between it and the headstock. Now we put the nylon washer in place, followed by the swivel plate. Put the gear in place and attach it with a large Phillips screw. Okay, now swivel the hip shot back to original position, put the lever up, and restring. It's just that simple. The most frequently asked questions we receive regarding the hip shot detuner is, how do you tune it? My instrument seems to be going sharp or flat when I use a, the unit. It's really important to use the proper tuning procedure. Here it is. We'll start with the lever up and the detuner screw adjusted so there's an eighth of an inch gap between its tip and the head of the Allen screw which the lever pivots around. Before we tune our D, we have to get our E in tune. So first we start flat. Tune up exactly to E. Watch what happens. I get it exactly in. I flip the lever down and up one time, notice what happened. I popped sharp. This is because there's friction at the nut. This side of the string, the pig head side of the string is tighter than the fretboard side of the string. So when I flip the lever down and up, I'm transferring some of that extra tightness over to the fretboard side of the string, causing the string to go sharp. Now I don't want to play sharp, so this is how I beat it. I compensate. I start with the string always flat, so here we are, just flat of E. I tune it almost up to E, just about there. I flip the lever down and up one time. This clears the tension, and look what happens. I'm still a little bit flat, so I give it another little tweak. I flip the lever down and up one time, check my E, and now I'm in tune. No matter how many times I flip my lever down and up, I will come back to E. Now that we have our E in tune, let's flip the guitar over and tune our D. Flip the lever down, check my D, it's out. I flip the lever up to E, adjust my tuning screw. Now I flip my lever down to D and check it again. It's important that when I turn my tuning screw that this lever be in the E position so that when I flip it, the tuner rocks, the string sets into position, that's when I can check my D. Something you may want to do to increase your tuning accuracy is to apply a little graphite in the nut slot. This reduces the friction and ensures that the string glides smoothly. Every now and again, apply a little Vaseline or white lithium grease to the tip of this lever so that it glides smoothly across the swivel plate. 
I hope this little video has been a help. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact us at hipshot at hipshotproducts.com. Thanks a lot.